If you are a fan of college football, you already know this season. Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, is bringing excitement and raising the national profile of the University of Colorado. The NFL Hall of Famer making a positive impact on his players on and off the field. Well, it's the same impact Linville High School football coach Ted Ginn Sr. has made here in one of the toughest parts of town for more than 20 years. I recently sat down with Coach Ginn to talk about his success stories and philosophy when it comes to developing young men for success in life well after their playing days are over, helping make Cleveland a better land. Coach Ted Ginn Sr. is a known force on the gridiron as he trains his defending state champions, Glenville High School football players, to work hard and score big in the end zone. But his passion goes beyond the field as he calls the plays that will help his athletes succeed in the game of life. Coach, tell me when you started coaching sports, what made you take it beyond the game? Well. I saw the influence that I had over young people. And then the thing that I know, we wasn't getting the right information. We have the best athletes and all that, but nobody's really paying attention. But Ginn flipped that around and got his athletes the attention they deserved. Colleges now calling him and signing his players to full scholarships. Players he carries in his heart like sons. I'm a father figure. You know what I'm saying? Even taking some kids into your home, coach. Absolutely. I had to take them in to change their behavior so that they can reach the gift that God gave them. I spoke with two of his players, seniors Deontay Jones and Frederick Johnson, who appreciate Coach Ginn's fatherly presence. His father, um, he helped me with a lot of like adversity when I came in here. He just accepted me. I just felt like it was home when I came here after this. Coach Ted Ginn seems like a father figure. If I wasn't here, I don't know where I'd be. Um, he plays a, a big part of my life. He teaches me different uh, types of things, communication, life, outside of football. And that's because Coach Ginn's playbook consists of ways to tackle life, even after you fumble. What makes you keep investing in these kids in the way that you do? First of all, it's love for the children. So I talk about hope. You know, I talk, my motto is love, passion, and understanding. You understand? You got to love them, you got to have passion, you got to give them the proper understanding. When, you, when they see that, they, that hope comes in, in, in play. Your challenge with boys, inner city, you're battling the streets, you're battling homes that are broken, to really transform these boys into quality, productive citizens. How has that challenge changed for you over the years? The challenge now is, is worse because we're dealing with a whole different way of living. Now that challenge that we are dealing with now because we got social media, the cell phone is, is raising our kids, you understand? Right now the mindset of a 13, 14, 13 to 25 year old kid, I hate to say it, it's about a gun. Gun violence in Cleveland is taking the lives of young black boys and deleting the hope that they will live to be men. Ginn Academy is working hard to change that narrative. What are you taking with you as you walk out into the world? Stay patient and poised to seize every opportunity for success. And you believe you will be successful? Yes, ma'am. You gotta be able to like use that information that he gave you and be able to like give it to other people, you know, you know, motivate them. To, you know, be the best person that they can be. Coach Ginn believes he has been given a divine assignment to transform boys into good men. Football is the vehicle. His love, passion, and understanding of his sons is the fuel. And when his mission is finished... I would love for people to think that I cared about everybody. And I wanted to fight for the underdog all the time. You know, but I left it all on the field. Leaves it all on the field. I'm telling you, the man walks the walk, talks the talk. Yep, he does. Uh, and has been doing it for years and literally has transformed boys into successful men. 
Uh, he's had his son go to the NFL. He's has other players go to the NFL. Uh, but I met Coach Ginn years ago when he was at Glenville High School. You know, he was over the custodial, you know, uh, operations there. But he had a tutoring center across the street that he created. So he's always been concerned, not just with the game, mm -hmm. but get your education and be good men. Be good in society. And we know, sadly, the need for these father yes. figures, especially in neighborhoods that are challenged yeah. and facing the things that they're facing. So yeah. it's nice to see him continuing to step up. Yeah. He's not stopping anytime soon. Oh, no time soon. No. He, he, he's, he's He's, it's nothing in him that says stop. He said he yeah. can't resign. He said it's an assignment. He said, I tried to. God said, get back in the game. <laughs> Way to go, Coach Ginn. Love we appreciate it. you. We